it's Kat, one of the three thrifty chicks, and welcome back to our channel. I have finds for you. We're gonna do a little bit of haul, a little bit of styling. Admittedly, styling is not my strong suit. I don't really know what I'm doing. I can't ever leave the house without first asking, you know, somebody to check me over. So <laughs> please bear with me. Don't rip on me for the styling. I'm working on it. So as you'll recall, uh, last week's video, the three of us all went out together and the day didn't quite go as planned. We were going to do uh, a value village and shoot inside. Well, we did do a value village, but we didn't uh, shoot inside because we didn't get permission ahead of time. Salvation armies were all closed and then the Goodwills that we went to both had lineups. Sorry, we didn't show you footage of that, but just lineups and you know, we just didn't have time for that. So what we ended up doing is a little bit of Value Village and then we headed down further south to Style Encore because that just always works out for us and they were open on a Sunday, so bless them. So let me start this by saying I didn't get a lot of stuff that day. It was kind of a low haul day for me. So what I did was I'm going to show you a few things from that trip and then I'm also going to grab a few things that I got um, last or just a couple days ago um, this past weekend when I took Meg out for her birthday. We have a tradition of what does she want for her birthday? She wants to go thrifting. So that's what we did and that was her birthday present. But then I also picked up some stuff for myself as well. So I'm going to combine those two hauls together and show you what I got. And we can start right here with this. So this is the sweater I got uh, from Style Encore. This sweater, super cute. It's kind of this like dusty, mauvey, rosy color and the sleeves are long enough that I can put my thumbs in the thumb holes. Right, nice little, is this called a cowl neck? Like a loose turtleneck, is that what that is? Uh, it's it's long but not too long. It's it's a medium so it just fits me, fits me just right. It's super comfy, not itchy and I love the color. You know, I think it looks good with the earrings too, right? How much was this sweater? I don't remember. Maybe 10 bucks? I don't know. Okay, so sweater was first. And then my pants, these comfy jammy pants. They are, oh shoot, Nicole Miller, I think. Super comfy, like I'm not even gonna put them to jammy pant category. I think these are like, like comfy pants, but like going out of the house pants. You could dress them up a little bit. They have pockets. Uh, I like the, um, the seaming down the legs and over the butt and they are super soft. The waistband is elasticized and I just leave it loose like I, I don't cinch it but you could. Uh, but like super easy to wear and the pockets really make it right. You like pants like this to have pockets. So um, this whole outfit I'm wearing were two of the things I got from Style Encore. Another thing I got was this. So I'm always looking for like dusters and cardigans and then I found this. Oh look, here here's a, a label. Beldini, no idea what that is. But, so I mean, it just looks like, you know, a thin dark gray cardigan, but no, we have detailing. First of all, this cool little blanket stitch along the edge, and then some little, like, I don't know, wheat grasses along the bottoms of the fronts. See, isn't that cute? So it's, it's a little special that way. It's not just a regular cardigan. And again, I don't remember what I paid for it, but I got, I got a really good deal as we always do at Style Encore. And it's, it's thin, lightweight, so it can, I think this could be all season. And I'll style that up for you. Super cute, really happy with that. Thank you, Style Encore. Okay, and then I also got one wow. pair of shoes from Style Encore. I wonder how many times in this video I can say Style Encore. Should we have like a little tally? Ding! every time she says style encore <laughs> okay these are da, 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 mountain soul you know I don't know but aren't they cute so like next to the sweater you can see that they're not they're not mauve they're kind of taupe let's say they're they're a pinky taupe right like not like brown brown and these uh, were $24 I have yet to wear them, but aren't they in really good shape? Like barely any wear on the bottom there. And I don't even think I need to take a magic eraser to these. Normally you want to clean that up a bit, but they're in really, I swear these were never worn. Like look at the bottom, there's nothing. There's nothing on them. So that's always a good deal. And it's just really hard to find cute size 10 shoes. So when I do, and they're comfortable because I'm all about comfort, I grab them. 
So love these cute little shoes. Now for the one thing I got at Value Village that day. So again, uh, talking about comfort, I think these are women's shoes because they're a size 10. They're from Soda and they're like little faux high tops, this gray mesh. And now speaking of magic eraser, this is where I would take and do a little cleaning up. Anywho, super cute, casual. They're a size 10, 10 and a half. So they're definitely roomy and they're not gonna pinch me anywhere. And I feel like you could wear those year round too, right? Cute, cute. So that is it for that day when we went to Value Village and Style Encore. And now I'm gonna show you the things I got when I took Megan out for her birthday. And this was all at uh, a Goodwill. And this is one of, our fav one of our favorite stores. And we got there early enough when we walked in the store, there was, and sorry, I don't have any footage because we didn't plan on filming that day. It was just her birthday date and we weren't gonna make a video out of it. But then I thought, I wanna show you what I got from there. So just trust me, when we got there, there was like three other people in the store. It was awesome because I think they have a capacity of 20 people. So we didn't have to wait in line, nothing. And this was a Saturday around like 11.30 in the morning. So it was great. Walked right in and away we go. We always get separate carts because we load up our carts and they're small too, right? So you wanna have your own cart. So uh, let me just bring it all down. It's kind of funny when you go, um, you have certain days when you're shopping and you realize you look in your cart and you're like, oh, I'm having this color day or I'm really feeling this color palette. And so between the outfit I have on now and the haul I got here, I am in some sort of pastel-y mood right now. So like we we're talking whites, blues, blush pinks, grays. You'll see, it's weird. At Goodwill I got, now this was kind of a weird purchase that I, I probably wouldn't have done normally, but because it's not seasonal and we're not ready to wear this yet. And, um, but you know, I was feeling a little crazy. So why not? It was a good deal too. So I got this Joe Fresh white denim skirt. And I mean, it's, it's nothing, nothing special, but it fits me like a glove. It's just the right length and it's gonna come in really handy when I wear it in the spring and summer. So I wanted to snag that while I saw it. I'm always looking for, like there's certain pieces I'm always looking for and sometimes they just pop up when it's not seasonal and you gotta grab them. So I did. So cute little white denim skirt from Joe. And I always go to the men's section because they have cool stuff there. And in the men's t-shirts was this cute little baby blue Vans t-shirt. I mean, right? Isn't it cute? So we have the Vans logo here. We've got a bigger one on the back. And I mean, I can wear this under one of my many blazers, so you could dress it up a little bit or go a little bit more casual. I could wear it with that white skirt. In fact, I think I probably will style it with that skirt. It's a total spring look, maybe even summer look, but I want you to see it anyway. And I don't know if I'll keep the sleeves, admittedly, because you know I like to chop up t-shirts. So I may like chop off the sleeves, because how cute would that be, right? I think so. Anyway, I'm loving this color and it really makes my eyes pop, so I'm all about that. Uh, then, okay, this for sure has to be handmade. It's a sweater, but there's no labels. Look at this, it's this beautiful dusty blue, kind of like a really light navy. And there's not a single label tag on it anywhere. I swear this is homemade. And whoever did this, fantastic job cotton or acrylic it's not like it's not itchy and it's not rigid it's quite soft and you know it's a it's a looser knit right so you can kind of see through it um, but like just it's nice to kind of wear a sweater not get super hot in it so because it's a looser knit the sleeves are long enough and it goes a little long and I'm pretty sure I found this in the men's section so it's probably meant for a man but I mean it's a sweater guys right so again, loving the blue, just drawn to the blue these days. Speaking of men's clothing, I also found, uh, I always go into the men's section for pants because I like to get, you know, boyfriend jeans or just um, looser fitting pants, jeans, not always going for the skinny, although there are some skinnies in the men's section as well. And I found this pair of gray, I would say gray jeans because they, they are a denim and they are by FW Co. But I just love the name of the pants, the, the fit. Night Train. Regular. <laughs> I 
they're, I think they're only a 32 in length. So yeah, I think they're a 30 in the waist and a 32. So like they fit perfectly in the waist and you know, I wear them a little lower. And 32 are like not super long on me. I could use a 34, but I could always just um, chop off the hem and have it frayed. And I think I will do that because they look a little weird rolled up. So I think a little frayed hem so they look intentionally a little shorter would be awesome. I think they make my butt look good and they're comfortable. So that was a great find. Another thing at Goodwill, so we're going back to the ladies section in the blouses. I'm always looking for some nice, pretty blouses. And this was one. So it's kind of um, that dusty pink again. I'll see the print on there. So just flowers. Yeah, just some mauves and, and pinks in there. Little um, cut out of the neck. The sleeves have a little cuff, a last size cuff on them. And then it's just, you know, you can just tuck that in at the bottom. But again, like, that looks good on me, right? And I did check with Megan first, cause she was with me and uh, she approved. So actually I was on the fence about it and um, she convinced me to get it. <laughs> so thank you, Megan. I've already worn that. Actually, I wore it with the man pants. That was a cute little outfit. Then the last thing I got that day, I'm always looking for um, a nice white top. This one's long sleeve cotton cropped, like not super cropped, but just not, not long. But I wouldn't tuck that in. I kind of like the length of it. And it seems to be like, you know, like a little longer in the back. Can you see that? And it's just a nice soft off white. And it's by the brand A New Day. And it's a large, but it's not, I'm not like swimming in it. So, hey, hey. <laughs> The sleeves are long enough is what I'm trying to show you because that's always an issue for me is long enough sleeves for my arms, right? Because I do have long limbs. Uh, super soft, really comfortable. And it's just like beautiful white, no stains. Like, that's such a great find. So I snatched that up. <laughs> you all saw there was an Instagram post of, so Lee and I were out running errands on Sunday. So uh, just a few days ago. And I'm always following Style Encore. Oh, there's Style Encore again, I said it. They, um, they always post uh, pictures of outfits. Sometimes they'll do like little fashion shows. Anyway, I saw these pairs of boots and I just commented on them like the day before, like, oh, those are so cute. And they always follow up because they're great salespeople, but they're like, hey, do you wanna come in and try them on? And we were literally five minutes down the road because we were out running errands. And I just said to Lee, I mean, honey, we're like, we're really close to Style Encore. I mean, could we just like, is that okay if we just pop by and I'll just, I'll just look at the boots. I'm not gonna do any shopping, I promise. It'll just be just the boots. And because he's so lovely, he obliged and he humored me and brought me over to Style Encore. And I um, tried on the boots and I'm so happy I did because they fit and they're so cute and I got a great, great deal. So let me show you first um, the booties from Esprit. These are like, I know they look kind of gray here, but they are, you know, like a good off-white. They're not gray, they're not beige, they're kind of creamy white. This cute little fur cuff. And look at that, barely any wear on there. I don't, I don't know if there were any, I don't think they've even been worn. Well, okay, there might be a little bit wear because see there's some little scuffs there, so I'll take Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. I wonder how many times I've said that in this video. And these were $20. So you know what, like they still have the size sticker from the store. I swear they were only like worn in whatever store they came from. Maybe from the Esprit store. So there you go, 20 bucks, bingo. So happy with those. And um, and then I'm thinking like, cause I like to look at things online and see what they were retail. They were probably close to a hundred bucks retail. Couldn't find the, that exact boot, but that's, that's my guess on those. And then, because I know this is a brand, uh, these are Michael Kors suede platform booties. Come on, come on, right? Like, mm -hmm. so cute. And I got these, these are $32, barely anywhere, right? The heels are still in really good shape. No scuffs, no nothing, and they're comfortable. Like even though like that's a pretty substantial heel, but because it's a wedge, it really takes down the height of the heel. And I did go on to the Michael Kors website as we were driving home. With these, I thought, I wanna know how much these were, like retail. 
and I could not find them because they're probably from last season, right? But I found a lot of booties on the Michael Kors website. So I'm going to say retail, these were over $200. And did I mention $32? Two bucks. I am so happy with those and they're gorgeous. I can't wait to wear those. So there you go. That's all the stuff I got. And that's over like three different visits. It wasn't just that weekend because admittedly I didn't have a great big haul that day. But um, it was so fun to go out with both the girls that we were able to you know, do some shopping together for once. And um, next week you're gonna see what Megan got in her video and then Mimi will show you her stuff in hers. Oh, that's Lola. <laughs> You're sneezing. You're so loud. And um, we're just happy to keep sharing our uh, shopping experiences and our thrifting. And just to show you, like, there's some really great places around town <laughs> that have awesome stuff for really great prices. And I just love that I can um, supplement my wardrobe. Like, my wardrobe is pretty much like 90% thrifted at this point. And I have some really nice pieces of clothing, and I'm and I'm really happy with them. Now, if we could just have some place to wear them to. COVID! Anywho guys, that's it for me. Hey, maybe Lola, you could get in on this one. <laughs> She's like, why? So here's Lola. That's who is sneezing. So we are um, gonna sign off for today. Thank you for tuning in and watching my haul. And um, if you could support our channel by subscribing, please. Hitting the like button if you liked it. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. Don't you dare, you loved it. And um, then just keep tuning in. And also follow us on Instagram. 3.thrifty.chicks. Check us out. Okay, folks? So that's it for me. Signing off. We will see you next time. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.